hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time being here you are very much welcome to this side of youtube i'm so excited to have you here thank you so much for stopping by it means a lot to me and my name of course is farida mustafa i'm a nigerian based in lagos nigeria i do movie reviews i talk and i vlog occasionally so you can call me that occasional vlogger <laughs> anyway guys so yeah i'm here with a movie review and this one is an iroko tv movie review called the best of us now this movie starred aikyo gona bolaji gumala blessing jessica obasi uh blessing jessica obasi in there of course you have to remember that she's our ma's his wife and then there was rob the antak and amongst other people that were in this movie guys so the plot of this movie now this movie is about three neighbors falake elizabeth and Onso. Elizabeth is a sister, you know, she tries to preach the gospel to Falake and Onso who are prostitutes and yaoboy accordingly. <laughs> yeah, but they don't listen to her. But um, Elizabeth is a very, very caring neighbor. She's a very good person. She's a very nice person. But every the um but the lives of Falake and Onso turn around when Elizabeth dies and leaves her baby behind. So Elizabeth dies while trying to give birth to her baby. And Elizabeth being the very nice neighbor who does not have anybody, she's a, she's living alone, nobody she has no family member, they've never seen anybody with her. But this changes the lives of Nonso and Falake because they have to be the one taking care of the baby. And they have to put their differences aside because Falake and Nonso, they know the grief. So yeah, they have to come together. So this movie is basically about two neighbors that have to put aside their differences in order to come together and take care of a child when their very caring, nice neighbor dies. I can going to play the role of Nonso and I I mean, Aikyo Buna is a very good actor, even though we don't really see him in so many movies. I don't really see him in so many movies. I know that he acts, but I don't see him in so many movies. So, but yeah, he did well. Like, the banter between him and Folake, who was played by uh, Bolaji Gumola, it was very, it was very hilarious. It's very comical and it was very believable. Yeah, so yeah, I really did like his character. Um, he did well to the character, he did justice to the character. Now, Bolaji Gumola, uh, Folake, I mean, a fantastic actress she did so well in this one as well very well in this movie she killed the role and like i said the banter between Nonso and Folake was very real and very relatable next person is uh blessing inze or blessing jessica obasi inze she has a long name she did so well to the character sister elizabeth blessing is a fantastic actress we already know that one like they all really brought their a-game they did very very well in this movie you know she was so believe she was so be believable as a sister and you know it was it was really so hard believing her as a sister because she was pregnant you're a pregnant single mom and you're trying to preach the gospel to people that they should not do but they should do good and, and i mean it got me wondering like how is she a sister and how is she pregnant how is she with a single mom a sister in the lord and a single mom pregnant no father inside no husband inside like what's the problem what's going on but anyways they all did well to so the character there was also Roxy Antak. Roxy Antak played the character of um Nonso's friend Arnold yes he played the role of Arnold and they all did really well to the uh, to the character in the movie now what do I think about this movie I really think that this storyline was very very good it was a refreshing story I feel like it was very very different it's a fresh story really really fresh story and I absolutely enjoyed it it's not some kind of old story old simple story that they bring back this one is a fresh one and it's a very very good story i did enjoy this movie i loved the banter between Folake and Nonso. it was so believable and i enjoyed sister elizabeth blessing did so well to this character i mean she did so she did, i've been saying i know i've said that so well but i mean this movie the storyline is so good it's a fresh story and i really did enjoy it i like the acting i like the progression of the story you know i love how they made it try i love how they try to like touch on every Every option that you could think about, you know, you could think about why don't they go and drop the baby at orphanage, they told orphanages to see if they can drop the baby, but you know, it did not go well. You could think of why can they find a relative or so. like, I mean, they really, really try to like point on every option that you think you should have explored. That is non so and falake because they had to not take care of the baby. I don't want to dwell in so much, but this movie was really good. It brought it, 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 it teaches us to be good actually because if sister Elizabeth was not good. They wouldn't have, you know, they would not have, you know, opted to take care of the child for her. I don't want to give too much spoilers. I don't want to give any spoilers at all. But I mean, it was a very good story. I really did enjoy it. And it was really touching, to be honest, because you're like, how can a good person and like Sister Elizabeth that had, she was so godly. She was a worshiper. And, you know, she had so many plans for her baby. Her, all her thought was that this baby was going to bring her joy, was going to bring her happiness. But she didn't even stay to take care of the baby. So it was really, really touching and he had lessons in it so you guys this movie is a good one and they all did justice to their character the only thing that i had a problem with is this picture that i'm going to put here this picture and it got me wondering would a newborn baby stand upright like this a newborn baby is not supposed to be in a certain sack and they have to cut the sack out have to cut the umbilical cord maybe i'm mistaken but 
that was quite somehow for me and but i won't i, I like i won't disregard the fact that they tried so hard to make this very realistic to make it the newborn baby really realistic because they use they use like a very small baby maybe like a month old baby or a few weeks old baby but a baby out of the womb will not look like that that's my that's my thought maybe somebody else might shed more light on it but from what i know from the videos i've seen newborn babies are in, a, in like one i don't know how to put it and they have to cut them out is that not how it is i believe people should help me you know i never born i know I don't, <laughs> but you guys anyway so that's the only thing i think was quite somehow in the movie and also i did not like the fact that eventually we did not know what happened to sister elizabeth like why was sister elizabeth pregnant without being married she's a sister you know was it that it was after she got pregnant that she became more godly or was she raped or what happened like we didn't really get that they didn't touch on that I, i'm very sure i did not miss that because i was trying so hard to hear what happened to sister elizabeth and why you know why she was pregnant without being married even for like i talked about it but i mean those are the only things that i feel like should have been done better that baby part i can't really blame them because it's so hard who will give you a newborn baby to act with who will give you so yeah i must really commend them for even that baby that they used they tried they did good but you know i would have preferred that they touch on that sister elizabeth what really happened to sister elizabeth and how she got pregnant but it's not it's not bad it's all good the movie is a good one regardless and you guys should see this movie the best of us it's a very fantastic movie you're going to laugh you're going to really think you're going to feel you're going to feel sober you know it's a good movie really and the storyline is very fresh that's what i like about the movie and for that reason i'm going to give them a nine over ten this movie is a good one kudos to the story writer her name is francis disney or something i don't know if it's a she or a he i think it should be a she francis right maybe it's a he i don't know i think it's a he but i mean regardless of whoever this per the writer is kudos to the writer to the director to the entire cast and crew they all did so well this movie is a very fresh story like and it's not something that is unnecessarily long the length of the movie is very appropriate in my opinion and i think it's a fantastic movie you should see the best of us on roku tv yeah guys that's why i saw this movie and it's a good one i promise you're really going to enjoy you're going to love it so yeah go ahead and see the best of us on roku tv guys thank you so much for watching my review this is what i think about this movie everything i've said here is basically my opinion you could have contrary opinions it's all right and please feel free to share your contrary, contrary opinions in the comment section like this video let me know that you are here you know liking this video makes us feel more encouraged and makes us feel better to do more videos and all of that so you guys thank you so much i know i look pretty i know my makeup looks pretty today thank you guys already <laughs> but anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Mwah! love you all so much